Welcome back everyone. I'm so excited that you joined us once again for another video. If you are new here, my name is Dustin Barker and I want to help you be all that God has created you to be. To join us on this journey, go ahead and subscribe below. Before we get started today, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of your comments on our videos. I love hearing from you guys and I wish I could see your smiling faces right now. I'm assuming you're smiling right now. And if you aren't, just go ahead and do it now. In today's video, we are talking about your words. God made you in his image and we are told to be imitators of God. We read that in Ephesians 5.1. Basically, I believe that this is saying that God wants you to act like him. God is constantly saying what he wants, not what he sees. We see this over and over in the scriptures and it all starts in Genesis 1. God looked out into the darkness and said, light be. Please notice he didn't look out and go, oh my, Look at how dark it is. God does something similar again with Gideon in Judges 6:12, where Gideon tells God how weak and small he is. But God looks at him and says, Gideon, you're a mighty warrior. See, God speaks what he wants, not what he sees. This is why Jesus would constantly look at people who were sick and he would say, be healed, rather than, oh, look, at, look at how sick you are. Jesus was able to kill a fig tree with his words and he was able to bring a man back to life. Jesus also controlled the wind and the waves with his words. The problem that most Christians face is they think, well, that was just for Jesus. However, Jesus looked at his disciples in John 14, 12 and said, whoever believes in me, he will do the works that I've been doing. He is empowering us to do what he did and act like him. And again, let me remind you of Ephesians 5, 1 imitate God as dear children. Jesus used his words on purpose and so should we. The Bible says that the power of life and death are in the tongue and many people are experiencing problems in their life because they are constantly talking death over themselves. I wanna challenge you. What is coming out of your mouth, life or death? James 3, 4 says that your tongue is like a rudder for a ship. And how do you direct a ship? With a rudder. Another way to say it is that your tongue is like a steering wheel that directs your life. The words that you are speaking are the very steering wheel that your life is going to follow. Many people don't realize that they are constantly prophesying over their lives and you can either prophesy life or death. For example, you probably know someone that says this all the time, I just can't lose weight. And guess what? They never seem to lose weight. Their life is going to continue to be steered in that direction because of the words they say. Your words are like seeds into your future and you are often walking in today what you were speaking yesterday. The Bible says in Proverbs 29, 11, that a fool vents all his feelings, but a wise man holds them back. Many people just talk about whatever they feel, but a person who understands that their words carry power and weight will hold them back. See, the devil will constantly put pressure on you to talk about your feelings because he knows this principle. He knows that your life is going to follow your words. The devil also knows that your words carry the power of life or death. So he is constantly trying to push you. He's constantly trying to put pressure on you to speak death. That is why most slang words, if you pay attention, most slang words are phrases based in death. For example, you're killing me, you killed it, or that's sick. Think about these things. What did these words actually mean? Would God say these things? Well, Dustin, hold on now, you're just being legalistic. You know, that's fine if you think that, but for me personally, I don't wanna say anything that I don't want to come to pass immediately because I know that my words are like a steering wheel for my life. Think about the things that are coming out of most people's mouths. They talk about how things are always going wrong and guess what? things are always going wrong. Why are people willing to curse their car and say there's always something that needs fixing rather than blessing it by talking about how well it works? Start paying attention to every single word that you speak. Ask yourself, do I want that? Would God say that? Friend, this stuff is so subtle. Satan pressures you to curse your kids by calling them little devils or monsters. And then people can't figure out why their kids are a mess. Let me end with a story. For years, I had a family member that talked about how every year they got sick. The question that they need to answer is, how do they know? They have never been to the future to know that every year they get sick. But when they say every year I get sick, they are sowing death words into their future based on their past experiences of getting sick. So Dustin, what do I say then? 
Well, you can say, I have gotten sick in the past, but by his stripes I'm healed and I'm not gonna get sick this year. I wanna challenge you to start watching every word that comes out of your mouth and ask yourself, do I want that? If you don't know where to start, start by asking God to get a hold of your mouth. David prayed something like that in Psalm 141 where he said, Lord, put a guard over my mouth or basically help me pay attention to everything that's coming out of my mouth. The next place to start if you don't know what to say is to find Bible verses and simply speak God's word over your life. That's all I have for you today. So grateful for you guys. Comment below and let us know what stood out to you in this video. And guess what? We'll see you in the next video.